So let's say I want to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the given point for each of these. So for number one, we've got y equals x cubed plus 2x minus 3, and we want to find the equation of the tangent at x equals 1. So the first thing that we really need to do is we need to find the y coordinate that goes with that x coordinate. So we just need to substitute in the 1 into the y equals. So y is equal to 1, so 1 cubed, plus 2 lots of 1, take away 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3, take away 3 is 0. So that is the coordinate of the point on the curve for which I want to find the tangent. Now, the next thing to do is to find the gradient function. So find dy by dx. So differentiating this, we get 3x squared plus 2. And then we want to substitute in x equals 1 into that to find the gradient of the tangent. So we want to evaluate dy by dx when x equals 1. So we get 3 lots of 1 squared, so 3 plus 2, and so we get 5. So that is the gradient of the tangent, and that is the point that it goes through. So we can now use y equals, or sorry, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Because we have the x1, y1, we know a point that the line goes through, and we know the gradient of the line. So we've got y minus 0 is equal to 5x minus 1. So y equals 5x minus 5. That's the equation of the tangent going through this curve at the point x equals 1. OK? So that's the first one. Right. Let's have a look at number 2. So now we've got y equals 3 over root x plus, uh, sorry, uh, at x equals 9. So first of all, find the y coordinate that goes with that. So we need to substitute 9 into this. So we get 3 over the square root of 9. Now, whenever you have the square root of something like that written down and you're substituting a value in, you only ever take the positive square root. If I asked you what is the square root of 9, it is correct to say plus or minus 3. But when you see it written down like this, and like this, that is just 3. OK? Important note there. So we've got 3 over 3, which is just 1. So the coordinate is 9, 1. Now we need to find the gradient function. We need to differentiate this. In its current form, I can't do that. So I want to rewrite it as 3 lots of x to the minus a half. The minus gives you the 1 over. The half is the square root. So you can find the gradient function, dy by dx. So the minus half comes down and multiplies with the 3. So minus 3 halves x. Take one off the power. So minus 3 halves. And now I need to substitute in x equals 9. I need to evaluate the gradient function when x equals 9 to give me the gradient of the tangent. So dy by dx when x equals 9 is equal to minus 3 halves times 9 to the minus 3 halves. Okay. So I'm going to pop that in the calculator. So minus 3 halves times by 9 to the power of minus 3 halves. And you get minus 1 over 18. So that is the gradient of the tangent line. Those are the coordinates it goes through. So we can use the y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So y minus 1 is equal to minus 1 18th times x minus 9. Now we want to tidy that up. So 
If I multiply out that bracket, we get minus 1 18th x, minus 1 over 18 times by minus 9 is plus a half. And then I want to add the 1 to both sides. And so that is the equation of the tangent line, y equals minus 1 18th x plus 3 halves.